In this third installment of my vintage pattern collection, the 1960s will be featured. The first patterns in the collection are from Advanced Pattern. And here you have a dress pattern. And you'll see quite a few dresses in this um, 1960s collection. But this is one of my favorites. It's got ruffles around the, the neckline there and on the sleeves. And the next is a, a teen and juniors pattern. And uh, here you have a cardigan and you have a dress. And you have another dress here and with a bolero jacket. And you have the bracelet sleeves there. It's very classy. The next patterns are from Buttrick. And I have quite a few of these. And uh, this is a wardrobe coordinates. And here you have several ways that you can wear this pattern. You have a jacket. And then you have your blouse and slacks. And shorts. And you have two ways that you can wear your skirt. And here's another dress pattern. And here you have a cocktail dress and a gown. I just love that. It's very 60s. And this is one of my favorites. You have a shift dress here with a, a jacket. And then you have a three-tiered skirt there and a capelet. The next is a cocktail dress, or could be a cocktail dress here. And then you have the evening gown. And then you have the overskirt. And the next pattern is another dress. And I just love the pleating on the front. And then you can have an alternate uh, fabric there in the pleating. That's beautiful. And here's another dress here. More of a, um, a professional, business professional look here. And then here's another dress. This is another favorite of mine. And here we have a cocktail dress. And I just love how that cuts into the, the arm there. And it just uh, just accents the neck. And I love this pattern as well. An A-line type dress. And this looks like it would be from the 70s, but it is, in fact, a 60s pattern. And this is very, uh, this is something that you would see probably in some of the spy films. But I just love that, the little, little shawl there. And you can put fringes or feathers or whatever you like on there. And then you have the rhinestones on the neckline there. It's great. And here's a uh, pattern for a young girl. And you have the skirt, you have a hood. That's just great. And then you have a children's pattern here. Love that. And then you have another dress. Now when I got this uh, pattern, it was missing. I believe it was the uh, front facing, so um, that uh, piece can be duplicated. And uh, once I get around to making this uh, piece, I'll be able to do that net. Uh, the facing would be on the blouse. So that's just a really great pattern there. Love that. And of course, you can see that it's crumbling around the top there. And the next group of patterns are from McCall. And uh, you'll see several of the McCall patterns here um, are dated, of course. And I'm going to try to keep them all as best I can the way um, under the dating too because there's some that don't have the post-it um, note on it and then right behind there the, um, they don't have the post-it note so um, that will be the indicator that it's from that uh, from that year. But this is the first pattern and it's from uh, 1960 and it's a dress pattern for a little girl and it's just really precious. And here is a 1960 dress pattern, and you have two styles there. And this dress is from 1961. And this is uh, my very favorite. I love this. This is also from 1961. Of course, it's uh, bound on the waist there. And then you have the buttons. Uh, I believe those are four buttons. There are four buttons on the back. And that's just lovely. And this is a cocktail dress. And it's got the fishtail on the bottom. And this is from 1961. And here is a 1961 play outfit dress and um, pants for a little girl. 
and I put on here that this uh, pattern had no instructions and um, so I just um, I will be able to still if I uh, were to make this for someone I would still be able to put it together it's fairly simple straightforward of course it's got a store stamp there and the next pattern is a blouse pattern it's from 1962 that's one of my favorites and the next pattern is a dress pattern and it's from 1962 and it's got a store stamp and I'll move some of these over and the next pattern is also from 1962 dress pattern for a little girl it's got the store stamp and this is from 1962 shift dress and a little short bolero jacket there with bracelet sleeves and the next pattern is from 1963 and here you have a cocktail dress and an evening gown that's very 60s and here you have three different styles of a cocktail dress and you have a big bow on the back there and it also has a um, store stamp and that says uh, West Brooks yardage and the next pattern is from 1964 and I love this I love the look with the gloves there and the bracelet sleeves I love the neckline on that the next pattern is also from 1964 got a little bit of writing on it and it's also got this big store stamp the next pattern is also from 1964 and this is a cocktail dress and an evening gown and here's another dress and I love this with the big bow on the front and the military look to it with the buttons there and here is the next one from 1964 this is another favorite of mine I just love the jacket there just so elegant and have a few more from McCall here and this is a pattern from 1965 and that's just very elegant. I love that look. And this next pattern has a um, dress and a jacket to it, and it's short sleeve. And you could wear that either short or long. And here's another 1965. I love that. And the next pattern is from 1967. And this looks like it would be something that would come. Uh, would go into the 70s but this is definitely a um, 60s pattern and that's really cute the next pattern is also from 1967 so you have a jacket and have a vest and little shorts there skirt just gives you infinite ways of wearing it pair of pants and this is one of my favorites here love this this uh, like a pea coat here you have a maxi coat here and that looks like something looks more like a, a Mary Tyler Moore look with the little bucket hat there and the scarf that's really cute and the next patterns are from my very favorite designer Pauline Trajera and let's see make sure I got all of her patterns here and the first pattern is from 1957 and I just love that the next is from 1960 and here you have a evening gown and then you have a cocktail dress there or even a day dress and of course you just take a uh, some uh, like a, a scarf or something and just tie that around the waist and it drapes down and of course it's got the little fringes on the bottom it's really elegant and here's another cocktail dress an evening gown and then you have the bolero jacket there with the bracelet sleeves 1961 and of course I've got my receipt there and this is from 1964 and uh, it's an evening gown and it's got a big bow on the side there and it's also got the receipt there I'll put that to the side and the next pattern is from 1965 and I love that it's got a shawl with it and that's a cute little little cocktail dress and you could even wear that for the day. And you've got the little pockets on the front. The next is another 1965 pattern, and this is a evening gown. 
and cocktail dress and just love that and I love the draping on the side there and the last pattern is a New York designers collection and this is from 1969 and this easily looks like something uh, from the 70s but it's definitely uh, from the 60s and the next group of patterns are from McCall and uh, actually that was a uh, yeah these are from McCall these are the hat patterns that I have in the back here I pull those out and these are some of my favorites and this is from 1960 I just love that. So here you have a, like a prairie bonnet there, and then you can make the bonnet out of netting. That's just beautiful. I love that. And the next is a 1961 pattern, and uh, you can have a, a night bonnet. And that's, uh, I love that right there. Just very mystical looking and just very chic. I love that. I love these two versions as well. And the next is a 1965 pattern, and it says four quickie hats. So you have this, the scarf there and a turban and a hood. Those are really, really nice. I love those. And the next patterns here, and this, these are the final patterns in the McCall collection, and this is from Barbie. And uh, I got all of these patterns together, and this first pattern is from 1964. And I will uh, take this out, and of course you can see the receipt there. And of course, as you know, Advance was the first commission to do Barbie patterns, and then uh, we moved on to McCall, and then we moved on to Simplicity. And this is a 1964 pattern. The next is a 1965 Barbie pattern. And a another 1965. And I just love that coat there. A little evening gown just really really neat here it's 1967 it looks more 50s particularly since you have the the skirt there and a the little jacket yeah and uh, this is I really like this pattern here this is from 1969 and this shows you how to make a little closet for Barbie there and here you have the coat there and a little evening gown and that's just really nice. And there's a receipt. I'll go ahead and put this back in the packaging. Simplicity, and uh, got quite a few of these here. And these first groupings here have no date on them, and uh, I believe that's how I have this here. Now these, uh, I believe, all have dates. Could be wrong. No, um, all of these do not have dates. Um, I put on my little card here that they only have the copyright information on there, so there's no dates on them. And um, so the first pattern here is a dress, and you have a cute little jacket there. And the next is a child's pattern. I love that. Little top and slacks and shorts. And, and there's another dress there. And there's another dress, size 12 another dress and as I said there were going to be quite a few dresses in this collection and here is a uh, pillow pattern and uh, it's for um, you can uh, smock pleat or cord the pillows that's a great pattern and here is a blouse pattern and you see the store stamp there and here's another dress pattern Here's 
a, um, a dress pattern. Of course, you have the top here, and then you have a, a skirt effect here. So, um, so yeah, it's a two-piece is actually what it is. And you're probably wondering why I have so many dress patterns. A lot of times you end up getting extra because the, uh, the uh, sellers will send me extra patterns. So uh, that's always nice, but um, I have quite a few dress patterns and I don't have any need for any more. <laughs> so anyway, um, but um, I love this here and I love the little coat here. And it looks very much like uh, something that uh, Jackie Kennedy would have worn in, the, in her time as uh, First Lady. And here's a little dress pattern here for a little girl. Just love that. And let's see. And now we're going into the simplicity patterns that are, in fact, dated. And I'm going to go ahead and take these out here. Okay, the first pattern is, I'm going to put that over there, first pattern is from 1964. I just love the little ruffles around the, the neckline there. And then there's another from 1964. I just love the ruffles. And the next pattern is from 1965. And you have uh, different styles of dresses here. The next is an apron pattern from 1965. I just love the little accents there. The next pattern is from 1966, dress pattern. And I love the belt there. And here is a Bamumu, which I showed in the, my 1950s video. And that's from 1967. And I just love how that, um, how that looks on the back. And then here is a um, another mumu, and you have a beach dress there, and you have the, the floppy hat, and this looks like uh, something that would be right out of the go right into the 70s, but uh, this is definitely definitely 60s. I love the pockets on the front there. Put that over your bathing suit, and here's another dress pattern. I just love that. And here is a pattern from 1968. And here you have several styles again. And I just love the delicateness of the ruffles there around the neck and on the uh, cuffs. And here's another pattern from 1968. Just love that. And you have the dress and you have the jacket there. It's very stylish. I'll put that over there. And then we have a 1968 dress, and of course this is going to be worn over a bathing suit, and um, this would be really pretty in gold. I love that. And here's a dress from 1969. Just love the collar on there, pointy collar. And uh, this is the pattern from 1969, and um, I'll show this to you. But this, um, this, I did not have a uh, pattern envelope for this. So when I got this pattern, and I'll take the receipt out, um, I ended up with the page cover. And uh, so the person who bought this uh, pattern decided they were going to uh, go into the fabric store and just take out a page. So that's what they did, and that's what I have here. And of course, I have a, another look on the other side. And this is a pretty simple pattern. If I wanted to make that, that'd be just very straightforward. And uh, so you get all kinds of little surprises when you're a vintage pattern collector. I'm gonna put this back in. Package. But that's just a really neat pattern. I love that put the receipt back in. So let's do that. So I won't forget. And there we go. Okay. And the next pattern is 
is one of my favorites. I love this. And this very easily looks like something that would be um, straight from the 70s. But I just love that. And here you have the wide arms here, like a bell sleeve. And then it's uh, cut there. That's just really nice. I love that. And I love the slacks. That's really nice. And I love the little, the little feathers on the bottom. It's a great pattern. And here you have a dress pattern. I love this. And here you have the pleats are just a little lower. And then it can be tied at the waist. Or just left plain. It's a nice pattern. And the last patterns in the collection are from Bow Pattern. And make sure I get all of these. These are the great patterns. And a great many of these you won't see dates on. And uh, this is a fun pattern here. I love this. And you have the bucket hat. And this is a great, great pattern. You have the coat and you could wear it as a jacket. And then here you have a swing coat. And uh, here's a suit pattern. You have the jacket, the blouse, and pencil skirt. And this is great. This is one of my favorites, too. I love this. And here you have a poncho coat. And this was featured in a previous video. And you got the store stamp there. And here you have a cocktail dress and a gown. I love that. And here you have another cocktail dress and gown. And this dress could easily be worn during the day. Of course, it's got writing on there as well. And this is a really fun, fun dress here. I love that. And that kind of looks a bit like something that would have come out of the 20s. So you've got the little ruffles there um, and the little tears. So it kind of makes it look like it's got a little fringe look there. But that's a really nice pattern. And here you have a shawl pattern. And so you could uh, make this out of fur, like faux fur. And it just wraps around your shoulders. It's just beautiful. I like that. And it's got a store stamp. And this is another huge favorite. Love this. I just love the neckline on there. It's a beautiful. This is my favorite color, so I could see myself making this coat and in that color. And then you have a matching dress with it or a cocktail dress. It's really nice. And this is another great pattern. And of course, I've taken a photocopy of the original and put it on the outside. The store stamp there. And here's a blouse pattern. I just love that. I love the ruffles. This is a pattern that I would uh, would easily make too. And I have some Vogue hats here. And this is a fun hat. It's a pillbox hat with a ribbon on the side. And this is from Sally Vicker. And there's another from Sally Vicker. And these have no dates on them turban and here's another another um, headpiece pattern that's a lot of fun and then here's um, a pattern from John Fredericks Mr. John and these are both from 1960 so I was able to find a date and that's great and that's a, a cloche hat and uh, here's another hat from Mr. Frederick it's got a store stamp. So that concludes my 1960s collection on my vintage patterns. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, which will be on the 1970s. Take care. Bye-bye.